This is South Porch. It's a lovely wide beam boat. She's 60 feet long, 10 feet wide, built by Dark Steel up at Stilton. She'd been fitted out by, she was launched in August 19, 2019, I should say, and she'd been fitted out by her current owner, and she's now for sale. She was last blacked in July 2020. He wanted to do it again, so that was done very recently. Six anodes on her. They were fine. And the engine, it's a Bowershire 50. That's only got 34 hours on it. So hardly been used, really. It's the well deck, four feet, one inch long. The water tank's in the bows there in that hatch. It's an integral water tank, good size, 670 litres. Portholes port holes throughout the boat, a good size, 18 inches, all of those. They open as well, they're hopper openers. And a good size stern deck, six feet, six inches long. A good social space. And at 10 feet wide, these boats are great. They're easier to handle than the 13 feet wide boats. The engine's under here. I'll just show you that quickly. Batteries at the top of the screen there. There are four domestics, 110 amp hours each. One starter. And there's a bow thruster battery on board. The bow thruster is a Vitas 95 kgf. The hot water tank is under my feet. Hot water is heated by the engine. The Eberspacher diesel fired central heating, or there is an immersion heater on board as well. The gas stores in that locker there on the left of the screen. One thirteen kilo in there at the moment, but there is room for two. Nice glazed back doors, and down into the boat we go. Lovely laminate floor. The under the gunnels and the ceiling is painted bead and butt boarding, and the cabin sides are moisture moisture resistant painted MDF. Huge galley this. 14 feet 4 inches long, very neatly arranged electrics. So a lot of space in here. This is a utility room, utility cupboard, call it what you like. Plumbing and power for a washing machine is in that green box there. And the electrics are in here, there's a galvanic isolator on the right of the screen, and that's the inverter charger. It's a Victron 3 KVA inverter charger. Very useful room, this. Good for storing things. There's Bumble, back by popular demand. And it's a lovely galley, so much room. The worktops are oak block, stainless steel sink, plenty of cupboard space in here. Yes, I was saying the, the cooker rather is a Thetford Caprice Mark III four burner gas hob oven and grill. At 10 feet wide, you get so much more feeling of space on the standard narrow boat, and they are just easier to handle than the wider boats. Plenty of drawer space. And this is an integral 230 volt fridge. There is an ice box in there as well. Bumble having a sniff. Lovely breakfast bar here. This will eat four. You can see four bar stools around it. Very good size cupboard in the, under it here. And there's the view down the galley. Nice light boat. Head height on the boat, by the way, is six feet eight inches in the center. So very generous. Huge wide side hatch here. Nearly three feet long, uh, wide. Two feet nine inches, I measured it at. Saloon area is next, that's eight feet long. There's a two-seater settee there. That's a sofa bed, actually. There's another couple of cupboards and a couple of drawers under the breakfast bar there. You can see some nice undergunnel lighting through this room. All the lights on board is, is LED. And good head height, as I, as I suggested. There's some more of those lights. Down the port side corridor, and this but this bathroom is enormous. It's um, eight feet long, which is big for boats. The loo itself is a pump out. It's a Lee San Headmaster, huge shower cubicle, four feet long, four feet six, six inches long actually, two feet wide. The basin you see over there is ceramic. It's one of those funky rain shower heads. Very good size room, as is the bedroom in the forward cabin. It's from 13 feet long. The bed is six foot six inches long, four feet six inches wide. The pump out tank is under there. 
And plenty of room in here for freestanding furniture if you wanted chests of drawers and things, but there are two wardrobes. Each of those has a couple of drawers underneath. With a shelf next to it in between those and the side of the boat. A good space in here. A quick look at the well deck. The water tank, as I mentioned, is under that hatch there. We'll go back through the boat. I mentioned the diesel fired central heating system, that's a never spacker to three radiators. Hot water is heated by the engine, the Ebus backer or an immersion heater, I think I said that. Which comes with all the necessary navigation equipment, the ropes, fenders, pole, hook, life ring, etc. She's moored at Lilford, Marina near Oundle. One of my favourite marinas actually on the River Neen, it's an absolutely stunning spot. So viewings are strictly by appointment only. And there's the view across the marina. The river's just over there. Delightful place. Lovely boat. That's Southport. For a gallery of further photographs, a fully downloadable colour spec and the price, go to our website www.rugwithboats.co.uk.